We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the Badgers and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside. Ball is loose. Fumble. The defense scoops it up. And a huge touchdown play. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it to distance. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review, After review of the play, the, play, the, ruling, the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. Four down, four down. Back 22, back 22. The 32. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Good job by the quarterback to put the ball right in the hands of the big tight end there. From their own 32 yard line. Third down. Quick pass. And he is drilled at the 49. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. Black five, black five. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Go. He fights forward to about the 49. The running back gets two on the carry. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. From the 49-yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of seven yards. Third down. I got tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. 34, eyes out 34. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but. They have to finish the job, and the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Scrambling around. He's at the 30, and he's taken down at the 26-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Red two, green eight. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22's coming. Mike, Mike. Go! Loss of one there for the halfback. They're about four yards away here on third down. Tight right, tight right. Two down, two down. And two. X7. Watch the slant, watch the slant. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at about the seven yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. This is the 10th play of this drive. They'll bring him down at the three. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the three. He 
is taken down at the two-yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, start offense. offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're Still in a third, third down. down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled around the three-yard line. Four yards there on the scramble. Wisconsin is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wisconsin's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 37. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Tackle at the 38-yard line. That brings up second and nine. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Here's third and nine. Ball on their own 38. Dog four. Three nine. Three nine. Short over the middle. Brought down at about the 49. Trying to get a head start there. False start, offense. Just a mental lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still first, first down. down. So the penalty makes it first and 15. He laterals the ball. They run the option. It's the tailback who gives him an eight-yard gain on the play. That makes it seven and six. You're not ready. You're not ready. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. We've played one quarter. The Badgers in front, three nothing. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Black go. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Green nine, green nine. And 
down he goes around the 43 yard line and the defense just swarmed over him on that one yeah they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance we're at play number nine of this current drive Fires out to his wide out. Tackle made at the 30. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Rutgers can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Three, three tie. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 26. Red two. He's got it with room to run. And he hits him hard at the 43. Gain of 17 yards. First down. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Four down, four down. Watch 48. Watch 48. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. He's under some heat, and he's level at the 38. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 26. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds the 39-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. Tackled after decent pickup. The Scarlet Knights will use their first time out of the half. Two minutes to go in the half. That makes it second and six. Taken down at about the 37 yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Quick strike, and he drops it. 
from the 37 yard line. Second down. Rid of this one. He airs it out. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. First and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. A yard, if even that, on the play action pass. And this play is number eight on the drive. the PAT. So an eight play, 75 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. Wisconsin's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around. And you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Quick throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. play action out to the tailback and he dropped it well the defense stood tall there well the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field it's away and it's a booming punt He's tackled at the 40. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around with the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think uh, the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Three Rutgers nine, three is up nine. a score. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Crosses left, intercepted. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. Great first half comes to a close. 10 3, Rutgers. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's, it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Here we go, get off the field. Rutgers up seven points. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's a gain of three on the way. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Red two. Go, Let's go. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. On the ground and he won't get back to the line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That, that brings up second and 13. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. Here's the halfback. He's taken down right around the 38 yard line. Gain of two on the play. That, that makes, makes it third, third and 11. Red two, go! It's on the ground, and they fall on the loose ball. He tackles him for a loss. Fourth and long here after the sack. He really got a hold of that one. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll drop in for a loss. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, he's right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. Brings up second and 13. 
from their own 27-yard line. It's second down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make the play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Booming kick. Brought down at the 29-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Rutgers is up seven. Looks over the middle and finds a fullback. Fullbacks do a lot of dirty work throughout a game, so it's nice to call their number once in a while and let them make something happen. He made a nice catch there for a solid game. First and ten. Ball on their own 39. made those 10 yards look easy. down. Rutgers is up by a touchdown. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, and almost picked off. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And he converts the extra point. A seven-play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 17-3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Scarlet Knights continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle around the 36-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 36. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff.
from their own 34 yard line. Third down. Pressure counting and the ball is loose. Looks like the offense has it. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. And this one is a beauty. He's out to the 30, and he's hammered down. The Scarlet Knights have shown here in the third quarter they're not content to just sit on that lead they built in the first half. Well, they did a nice job in the first half, but the adjustments that they made at halftime have allowed them to find some matchups to their advantage, and they've taken uh, full advantage of that. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 17-3, Rutgers. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. six-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 46. Tackle made at the 49. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. First and ten. Ball on 34. And he's taken down at the 12 yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 12-yard line the offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their last trip tackle that decent pickup Sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time up. Hey, 
He's scrambling. He's going to take off. Brought down around the 40-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. He's going to try and scramble, and he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So the sack makes this a second and long. Four down, four down. Mike 22 is coming, 22 is coming, Mike, Mike. Here we go, here we go, here we go. X, motion, seven. Motion, motion. 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 Scrambling around, and he has it on the corner. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Less than three minutes in the game. Catches it, and that's all. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You gotta get those. Looks for his tight end over the middle. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three! Now he's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's tackled at the 19. Now he tries to buy some time. Inside the 10. Nice move, and he scores. He had the wherewithal to see the open space in front of him, and he just kept on zooming until he hit pay dirt. He makes the PAT. on their defense to make something happen. They need a big play right here to get that ball back. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Just over two minutes in the game. After a decent run up the gut. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows them to continue to work this clock. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. From the 21-yard line, second down. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a gain of four on the play. Third down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike is 59. Dog four. Green nine. Little handoff. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. 
Wisconsin staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.